Let me finish tonight with the wondrous fact that Donald Trump was the one to say the emperor has no clothes. Ever since September 11, 2001, the Democrats have joined the Republicans in agreeing that the country would be better off if we didn't become divided in blame over who allowed this country's worst attack on the continental United States. So let's start off with uh, the wondrous fact that Donald Trump is the one to say the emperor wears no clothes. The reason that it's a wondrous fact is because it's fucking 15 years later, everyone's known it from day one, and it's the media's job to say the emperor wears no clothes. Chris Matthews is the media who's supposed to be the watchdog on this bullshit. And then, oh yeah, we all came together after, after September 11th and decided it was better not to point any fingers at anyone. Um... Actually, what happened was a bunch of people in the media and firemen and other people started talking about explosions. They started talking about how it looked like it was a controlled demolition, like boom, boom, boom. Remember the firemen saying it? It was like boom, boom, boom. Remember the firemen we saw say it a thousand times? People started asking questions. And then about 10 days after 9-11 give or take a week, I believe, um, military-grade anthrax, anthrax was delivered to this, uh, the leader of the Senate. I believe it was um, Harry Reid at the time, I believe. It was delivered to a number of other members of Congress. Uh, military-grade anthrax. Very, very, very nasty stuff. Uh... It was delivered to uh, numerous members of the media through the U.S. mail. A bunch of people died. I think at least, like, I, I, I think there's like 13 people or more died. Uh, and all of a sudden, no one was talking about explosions, boom, 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 anymore in the media. And, uh, oh, and then, and then, of course, uh, Paul Wellstone, Senator Paul Wellstone, started asking questions and pushing on 9-11 and why we're not having congressional hearings on what happened. And all of a sudden, Paul, Senator Paul Wellstone died in a small plane crash. Wow. Coincidence? And then... And then we all agreed not to point fingers. Huh, W. Huh, Jebby. Please, Donald Trump, point fingers. Keep pointing fingers. Keep screaming. The emperor wears no clothes. Actually, what you need to say is, Project for New American Century. Come on, Donnie. I know you got the balls to do it. Project for New American Century. You can say it. You don't even have to say it. Just type it. Just type P-N-A-C. That's all you gotta do. You don't gotta say it. P-N-A-C. Just type it. Once. Tweet it. Jebby Bush. Thanks for tuning in. I'm trying to keep it short. Uh, you know, one of these days this war is gonna end. But it's up to you and I because the people in the media and the people in the government are not gonna make it happen. That becomes clearer every day. Let me finish tonight with the wondrous fact that Donald Trump was the one to say the emperor has no clothes. Ever since September 11, 2001, the Democrats have joined the Republicans in agreeing that the country would be better off if we didn't become divided in blame over who allowed this country's worst attack on the continental United States. What upset this arrangement was Jeb Bush's statement, deniable on its face, that his brother George, quote, kept us safe. Well, actually, he didn't. He did a good job of rallying the country after we were hit, a quick job of tracking down the killers to Afghanistan. From there, it all came apart with his war of choice against Iraq, a country that had nothing to do with what happened here on 2001. In any case, what brings this matter back is the atrocious way in which the Republican Party is trying to blame Hillary Clinton for the deaths of four Americans serving in Libya in 2012. Three years later, they continue to hunt her. Hunter down, you could say, on the groundless argument that someone must be to blame. Well, you follow that argument in the trail of 9-11, and you end up with George W. Bush. As Harry Truman once said of the American presidency, the bucks...
stops here. And that's hardball for now. Thanks for being with us. All in with Chris Hayes starts right now. I'm the leading state sponsor of terrorism.